beautiful day. It is presently September 18, 2022, 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time at the time of this recording. But this is our week of September 19th energy forecast, a little bit of tea and tarot. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap into the energy here to see what we are looking at as a collective. All right, so I'm going to start with our Soul's Journey lesson cards and get some affirmations to support us in moving in the right direction this week, making sure that we are prepared for any obstacles that may show up on our plate and making sure that our toolkit is equipped our mental toolkit, our emotional, spiritual, and physical toolkits, work belts, whatever you use. Because I talk to leaders, I talk to people who, you know, got things to do, places to go, and people to see. Usually pretty important ones, because they're pretty important themselves, and, you know, important people link up, so I hear <clears throat> I hope your day has been phenomenal. I hope that whenever you see this, that you know you are in a place of peace mentally and spiritually, that you're emotionally grounded, that you are present, that you are healthy, that you are content but also inspired. All right. If you have not yet done so, please check out Empress Black, our podcast platform at marissablack.com. Oh, there's a lot of cards flipped over, but we have judgment here. And the affirmation is, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. All right, let's see what else we have here. We have discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. We have doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. We have surrender. I can release my need to control. We have peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. And we have happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Put them dolphins there. Yes. All right, we have one more here on the bottom. Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. All right, and on the bottom of the deck, we have service. I feel good when I can help others. All right, so overall, we have some great energy here. Um, judgment, discipline, doubt, surrender, peace, happiness, and self-esteem. All right, so... Let's see, what tarot deck do I want to use to tap into this energy? Hmm, let's use our elemental goddess. But this feels pretty light, pretty healthy energy for the most part. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. That is what self-esteem teaches us. When we feel good about ourselves, you know, when we are confident, you know, when we are secure and, you know, stable in our perception, in our thinking, in our mindset, um, in connection to who we are, um, where we are in our journey, 
in life, when our self-esteem is good, we're usually going to reflect that. We're going to um, be happier, more at peace. Um, we're going to be more disciplined. Um, we're not going to judge others because we're going to see ourselves in others. You know, um, when you see yourself as beautiful, when you see yourself as motivated, when you see yourself as healthy, when you see yourself as um, prosperous and abundant and free, you know, you're going to want that for others, you know, other people that you come into contact with. Um, you're going to want that for your loved ones, for, you know, the people who you spend the most time with, that you call your friends, you know, um, associates, whether in business or you go and punch a clock and you have um, a group of people that you work with on a daily basis. Whoever you come into contact with, whoever you experience life with is a reflection of your self-esteem. It's a reflection of how you see yourself, how you feel about yourself. Um, when you, and we have the tower just flipped out of here, when you have a healthy um, self-esteem, a healthy self-image, um, you don't allow certain things around you. You don't allow certain people um, certain, you know, experiences, you do the best that you can with what you have to work with to avoid, um, towers, you know, obstacles and, you know, disappointments and, you know, building things on unstable, unhealthy foundations, you know, when we do that, eventually, we have some type of tower moment to show us that, you know, that foundation was not stable. That foundation was not healthy. It was actually pretty toxic and, you know, not in alignment with the truth of who we are when we have a healthy self-esteem and we feel good about ourselves, respect ourselves, when we love ourselves, when... We embody that energy. We require, um, I'll, what's another word I want to use instead of require? We have expectations, but healthy expectations. You know, um, one of my great teachers, uh, my martial arts actually instructor, said that, what was the saying that he gave me? Um, The root of suffering is expectations. And, you know, that was something that he told me years ago. And over time, I've gotten a greater understanding of his perspective. Also, it's bigger than his perspective. It's, you know, something that he got from ancient wisdom, ancient teachings. But um, I understand it. And that is why I do my best to have healthy expectations for myself and make sure that I'm doing the best that I can with what I have to work with and be a re be someone a reflection of that so that I can inspire others versus going and telling other people what they should do what I think that they should do um, I don't do that I just rather you know live my life and you know embody the energy that I want to encourage others to you know, body so they can experience that which I experience in the more healthy, high vibrational, positive, you know, free and freedom, actually. All right, so we have the Eight of Air. This is the Eight of Swords. So um, I'm feeling like this tower, someone was feeling mentally entrapped. Someone felt, um, felt like... Someone is feeling like they needed some time 
alone. Some time to reconnect with their own energy. To become clear in their mind. Within that time, they may have done a lot of journaling or writing or um, planning or organizing. Um, we have the feathers here representing, you know, our air energy, the swords, mental energy, thoughts. You know, these thoughts here are bound together. These feathers are bound together, um, showing that there was limitations. Limitations that mental, mental limitations that caused doubt and required the need to surrender is what I'm hearing. We have the three of water. This is the three of cups. Um, I'm hearing... Celebrations, time to celebrate from surrendering. Letting go of control and the need to know the answers. Trusting in your inner knowing Trusting in what you feel when you experience peace, when you experience happiness. Being able to celebrate and appreciate that alone. Then we have the Ten of Earth. This is the Ten of Pentacles. Um, this is ultimate fulfillment. This is success. This is success in love. This is also success in money. This is family. This is legacy. This is harvest. This is um, I'm hearing fine dining. I'm hearing weddings, celebrations, um, balls and dinners, things in alignment with excellence. I'm hearing people getting together, dressing up, hair did, nails did, everything did, you know, putting on your finest attire and celebrating and having fun, enjoying life. Then we have the Queen of Water, the Queen of Cups. This here is um, a divine feminine that is very very much connected to her emotions um but she doesn't get swept away in her emotions she's mature emotionally she is um aware self-aware she is creative she's intuitive um she's lighthearted she's nurturing she is One that inspires many. Um, yeah. She is present. She... She is here with a message <laughs> of love. And then we have the page of water. So this could be um, a queen of water that is with child. Um, 
This could be... I'm hearing spirit daughter. I'm hearing maturation, maturing, emotional maturity. That is a process, it is a journey, but it is a journey worth embarking on. It could be painful at times. It could be dark sometimes, gloomy, depressing. There could be a lot of low vibrational, unwanted, you know, emotions that can be felt on one's journey to becoming emotionally emotionally mature. But it's necessary. Otherwise, how will you know what it feels like to feel happiness if you've never truly understood what it feels like to experience sadness? How would you truly know how to identify what peace feels like if you've never experienced disturbance, chaos, turmoil, internally or externally. For those who challenge with control issues, you know, surrendering. Until you get tired of fighting and feeling like, you know, you have all the control in any situation, and until you actually surrender and recognize that there is a source of energy that we can recognize as the divine, the most high God, the creator, the source, you know, that, that I am, that I am, that energy has the ultimate control, the ultimate say so, the ultimate The ultimate, I want to say decision of the outcome. The words is a little jumbled up. I'm trying to translate them, but yeah, that's what's coming to my, my mind, the forefront of my mind. All right. What's on the bottom of this deck? We got the Knight of Earth. So we have someone who is cautious, someone who is a student of the material world, of finances, of um, maybe entrepreneurship, um, a boss in training, I'll say. Um, this is someone who is also responsible with what they acquire, what they work hard for. And, you know, the night of Earth, the night of Pentacles, is known to be the slowest night in the deck. And that is because, you know, he protects that which he cares about, which he works for, which that which he produces. So he's not necessarily going to just um just give away you know his resources all willy-nilly underneath that we have judgment again we have judgment twice so this is someone that may have been you know under judgment that has um People have looked at and looked to for guidance. Um, we have the five of earth underneath that, the five of pentacles. Someone who people look to <clears throat> for guidance with, um, excuse me, my throat itching. Someone that, um, excuse me, others look to guidance for 
in regards to success, in regards to gaining um, wealth, maintaining wealth as well for um, inspiration and motivation. Yeah, my throat is really itching, excuse me. <clears throat> Inspiration, motivation. What in the hell? Hold on. Excuse me, I had to clear my throat. All right, so the Knight of Earth is someone who others look to for inspiration, motivation, creative ideas, um, and when it comes to stability um, and home life, Excuse me. This is someone who probably gives good advice, good counsel, is very wise. Um, and I'm feeling like wise beyond his or her years. That's the Knight of Earth. And with the Five of Earth, someone who has overcome some obstacles, who has earned and has lost. Um, so they, you know, when it comes to checks and balances, they have some experience with winning, but also have some experience with losing. And with this judgment, like I said, coming out twice, we have two judgments here. This is telling us that, you know, others are looking and watching to see if they've learned from their errors, learned from their mistakes. <clears throat> and... They could be teaching others, you know, as they learn as well. I'm hearing that also. And then we have temperance, you know. So balance is coming, you know, um, being grounded on earth, but in touch with your emotional body, how you feel, you know, your soul. We have that elephant. You know, elephants has most definitely been a theme here for myself. I created a little video yesterday at work where, you know, I was watching some elephants on TV on the wildlife and I recorded it and incorporated it into the video. But here we are, temperance, you know, with all this water here, <clears throat> we have the page and the queen of water with temperance. This is telling us that, you know, we are becoming more mature in our emotions and how we express ourselves and how we present ourselves you know whether you're someone who you know you're in the public eye people look at you they watch you they copy you you know or you're just an everyday person that you know goes to work or goes to school and you know your family is watching you and you know learning from you um whatever the case you know be mindful that you know you never know who's watching and you know it feels good when you can help someone else you know so when you see an opportunity to do that you know do that and sometimes the best way to do that is to show up as your best self and you know exude high self-esteem and confidence and you know be you and do you the best that you know how all right because anything that is out of alignment with the truth of that the truth of who you are um, is not going to prosper, is not going to be long lasting, is not going to have a stable foundation. Like you can build, you know, the life of your illusion dreams, you know, the dream that someone else gave you if you want to. But then, you know, what happens when that lie blows up in flames like this tower here? All right.
I trust, hope, and pray that wherever you are in the world, that whatever you have show up on your plate this week, that you will be mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, and financially prepared to overcome any potential obstacles, but also have what you need to live your best life, to enjoy yourself, to eat well, to, you know, be able to smile your brightest smile and, you know, with your smile, but also with your eyes, you know, with sobriety, being sober-minded and, you know, clear on what it is that you're here to do and being provided the tools and resources to do it if you're ready for them. All right? Till next time, peace and love.